In this video, Wilma and I have been holding on to a big secret. Stay tuned. So before we get into the big announcement, we have a couple of uh, selfie challenges to do. Yes, we do. So the first one up is Lee and Rosie. They currently live in East Rochester, New York, USA, and they're getting ready to retire to the Philippines next year. Take a look. Great picture, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys uh, participating in the selfie challenge. So next up is Andy and Grace. Andy's from the UK. Grace is from Rosal. And they're building a home in Panglo Island. Take a look. Andy and Grace just recently started their own YouTube channel in Bohol. Yes. <laughs> so the name of the channel is Grand Filipino Life. And uh, like I said, they're building their dream home in Pango Island in Bohol. So uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, go over, check it out, and uh, consider subscribing. So uh, now for our big announcement. <laughs> Ready for this? This is uh, something that we've been holding on to for a long time. And uh, once we show you what the surprise is, we'll go ahead and explain why we have done certain things a certain way over the last several weeks. So without further ado, our big secret. All right, guys, here is our uh, big secret. We've been uh, keeping from everyone for quite a long time. Uh, for the first time on Building the Philippines, I'd like to introduce you to Prince, 11-week-old uh, uh, male Doberman. Uh, we've been wanting a Doberman for a long, long time, and uh, we've been keeping it a secret because we wanted to find, uh, obviously, the right type of Doberman. We wanted a male, we wanted it to be the black color, uh, and we wanted to be able to meet uh, the mother and the father to make sure uh, that they were, you know, correct size and all that. So uh, take a look at Prince's dad. As you can see, uh, Prince's dad is a big boy, uh, very, very broad, uh, looks really good, good temperament. Uh, so now take a look at uh, Prince's mom. Now, Prince's mom uh, was very big, uh, very tall, uh, in really good shape. So usually the females are, are you know, pretty small. Uh, not Prince's mom, uh, was a very uh, big Doberman. She's huge. Yeah, she was really, really yes. big. So this is something we've had uh, in the works for a long time. And uh, we were supposed to get him at eight weeks and we had to wait uh, till 11 weeks just because we've been working hard trying to get Daisy and Duke yes. uh, adopted. And, uh, you know, it was in works. Uh, you know, we knew about uh, the pregnancy of the dogs. And, uh, you know, we had uh, one male reserved. And, uh, and we knew we were going to get them. And we didn't want to have uh, them overlap. So we just had to delay uh, until we could find Daisy and Duke a good home. And we finally did. We turned... Uh, quite a few people down and you guys know that the first four people <laughs> back, down. Uh, back down on us and we were like oh no that's gonna delay us uh, getting uh, Prince and uh, you know we were concerned about that for sure but, uh, very very affectionate this guy so affectionate and uh, you know take it to the house really really good uh, follow me all over the place so uh, basically, uh, we've been advertising and word of mouth, trying to find a good home for Daisy and Duke. And it was important for us to attempt to get Daisy and Duke to go to the same home. And then of course, we wanted the home to hopefully have a fence so they'd be secure running around. We didn't want them in a cage. 
and we didn't want them just somewhere in the barangay running loose. So that was difficult. And uh, a lot of people was asking us for that, uh, for photos and they were interested. And we looked at their Facebook Messenger and it was really uh, just like they just set up the profile. And uh, you know, that's a red flag. So we, we told those people that uh, we weren't going to allow Daisy and Duke to be adopted to them. And uh, that, that did not go over well. <clears throat> so we finally found a family it was uh, two relatives, uh, two ladies. Uh, they have a house with a fence, so happy in Sabulan. Yes. And they came up and they wanted both puppies. They were very, very happy. And uh, we felt very comfortable uh, having them adopted. So once Daisy and Duke uh, was gone, then uh, we were able to contact the breeder and uh, go pick up Prince. <laughs> yes. So I think uh, Prince is uh, sleeping here. Wake up, Prince. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> and guess, guess what, guys? We only have uh, Prince here for like a couple of hours now. He followed Greg <laughs> everywhere. I think he's in love with him. <laughs> because uh, Greg, he's trying, to, he's trying to go take a shower. And guess who's behind him? Yeah. Prince. He jumped right in the shower with me. Uh, we gave him a bath already. Yeah. Uh, we bought, you know, special uh, shampoo because, of course, being in a kennel, you know, they're a little stinky. So uh, we bought some really good shampoo. Uh, it's like a three-in-one type that handles parasites and fleas and ticks and, and things like that and uh, different skin diseases. So we gave him a good bath today uh, when he first got here. He ate real good. Uh, the breeder said that they did not uh, want to feed him this morning uh, just because um, of the travel. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, we found the exact same food that he'd been growing up on. Uh, so we went uh, to the pet store and was able to find uh, more of the exact same food, the puppy chow, uh, because they said that uh, these uh, Dobermans only had uh, that type of puppy chow no table food uh, whatsoever <clears throat> and we'll do the uh, same thing also we have their vet um, coming up to the house the vet does uh, house calls and uh, he will get a full checkup in two days and uh, we have his vaccination record showing all the shots that he has been given and the deworming you know he's had the distemper and uh, all the different uh, shots he's up to date on, and we'll continue forward with that vet. Uh, and uh, we're also getting his uh, ears cropped uh, in two days, as well as checking on to see if he will spay Sandy uh, as well. So we're looking into all that at the same time because we've been having a hell of a time uh, finding a vet uh, to uh, just ask the question. So since uh, he'll be doing a house call, um, we're going to inquire about getting uh, Sandy fixed. So we're going to try to do everything, uh, hopefully, very, very soon. So this is the big secret. <laughs> uh, we've had him reserved for a long, long time. Uh, so that's why, guys, when everybody was saying, why don't you keep Daisy and Duke? Uh, you know, we found the breeder. We found the parents. They look really healthy, the, the father and the mother. Uh, we wanted uh, one of the pups. We wanted it to be uh, one of the black males. Uh, so that was the uh, reason. Uh, we don't want to have three dogs running around the, uh, you know, the yard. Uh, of course, Sandy is still uh, around, in and out. We're keeping Sandy, for the most part, outside of the property. But she does come in often, especially when Daisy and Duke was here. Uh, but we're keeping them separate now until we can talk to the vet in two days uh, about, uh, you know, is it good to have, uh, you know, call it a stray dog as uh, Sandy is often uh, around a lot of strange dogs. So it's important to make sure that uh, they're not together for at least a, a, little, a little while. So we went ahead and uh, did some uh, video of the kennel as well as uh, a little bit of uh, video here in front of the house. So uh, take a look at that. New York. <laughs>
All right, today's the day we're picking up prints. Take a look at mom. This is mom. Look how big mom is. Kennels are always noisy. So there's three uh, three Dobermans. I'll show you a picture of uh, the dad. The dad uh, is not here. Two red females, and there was another red male. But he was uh, already adopted. So, guys, good morning, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, that's the yeah, yeah, the vet information. Yes, oh, yeah, good. that doctor's coming up to our house on Thursday too yeah. to uh, cut the ear. You see all the different <laughs> inoculations. It's already uh, already uh -huh. done. doctor. Ah, si Glen. Oh, si Biso. Yeah, same. Yeah, the doctor is Doc Biso. Yeah. Friends, that's your name, friends. The doctor who crap Doc Biso. Oh, same. Ah, same. For crap ears. Okay. But it's Hey, friends. French. Look, he knows his name already. Hi, French. French. Yeah. French. Hi, French. Hi, French. Welcome to our uh, family. Hi, French. Babe, did I have a picture, babe? Did I have a picture? Oops. He want to eat? You're a hungry boy. Huh? Oh. My prince is uh, pretty hungry. <laughs> he did a real good job. The uh, breeder said that they didn't feed him this morning because I uh, didn't want him to have a mistake in the truck. Uh, so uh, what we did was they only feed their uh, puppies a brand called uh, Top Breed uh, Puppy Formula. So I need to look into that. Um, we have two kilos of it, so we kept the food the same until we do the research and see if it's uh, you know a good brand or not. It's a beef flavor, top breed. So we'll keep them on the same. So he looks hungry, but that's okay. We'll make sure that uh, we fatten him up here soon. So we have already his vet. Um, the vet that the uh, breeder uses um, does uh, actual visits. So coming here uh, in two days uh, to give him a checkup. And then uh, we're going to talk to the vet about getting uh, Sandy uh, spayed. I'm sure he does that service. So we'll look into that here in the next couple days. They do uh, house calls. But what a good boy. Uh, we also stopped and got him uh, some good uh, shampoo. It's a uh, three-in-one shampoo. It's for uh, all types of uh, flea tech parasites. It was a uh, three-in-one shampoo, so we went ahead and got that. So he's going to get a good bath here in the next uh, few minutes. But how you doing, Prince? What a good boy in a vehicle. He's never been in a vehicle before. Sat on my lap, Wilma drove. And really uh, just sat there and just enjoyed the ride, looking out the window. <laughs> and uh, we stopped at this one market to pick up some uh, fresh fish. And he just sat looking at the people. Did a real good job. Did not get uh, car sick at all. So all these little bumps on him is just from him uh, playing with his sisters. And uh, that'll all heal up. So what you guys don't know is uh, in the U.S., uh, throughout basically my entire life, I had Dobermans. Uh, three. Three Dobermans in my lifetime. And then uh, we also uh, 
purchased one for my parents. My parents paid for the Doberman, but we uh, found the Doberman and my mom and dad had the Doberman as well. So I've been around four Dobermans uh, throughout my lifetime, all at different times. And I just really love the breed. Uh, had them uh, obedience trained, had one of them uh, guard dog trained. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to be working that. You guys will be able to see the progress um, of how uh, Prince here gets uh, obedient train and uh, protection training, as I understand it. So we'll work with them. I got plenty of time. Got a good yard to run around in, plenty of exercise. And he's a hungry boy. So I gave him two cups of uh, food. What are you looking at, boy? And he's going to go get a good bath right now. <laughs> get him uh, cleaned up. Smells pretty good. I mean, they, I was pretty impressed with how they cleaned, uh, cleaned up uh, the area. And uh, he has two sisters that's available. And they're both uh, rust color. And they look very healthy as well. You full? You full there, Prince? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get him a good uh, a good bath now. He's got a full belly. Drank some water, and now I'm trying to teach him where to go. <laughs> but uh, he's a little uh, unsteady on his feet. That's uh, understandable because he was he's been caged. Uh, with his sisters for 11 weeks. He's 11 weeks old. So his legs are a little wobbly. That's okay uh, You know that'll change quick once he uh, gets some good food in him and Learns to uh, run around a little bit still unsure of course I mean, he was in a kennel with uh, some bullies and there was a another Doberman there and then his mom was there and then uh, the siblings and he was taller than the, the two uh, siblings uh, I guess the males are usually are a little taller or he wants to start to play a little bit <laughs> you're going in for a bath once you uh, go to the bathroom there Prince he's got real big paws look at these paws <laughs> giant paws and his, uh, his dad was real big you could see that the mom was was very tall but he's just going to take him some time a little skinny he's a pup but we'll feed him good i've been doing a lot of research lately on uh just reminding myself what's uh, good for them to to eat want to play <laughs> he was so good in a car I was so so happy definitely wants to play I need to get you a bath, so you need to uh, do your business. It says for Doberman's uh, puppy chow, water, uh, feed them four times a day. That's what I read, so we'll do that. Like I said, the vet will be here in two days, and we already have his vaccination card where he's already had his first few shots and his uh, deworming and things like that. So we'll see what he needs. And uh, I guess the vet travels with everything that he needs. So it's the same vet. And we have been having a heck of a time trying to find a vet. So I said, we'll try to find out if uh, he'll fix uh, fix Sandy. So I like the fact that the, uh, he does house calls. It comes recommended from the, uh, the breeder. So he's already seen Prince because he docked the uh, tail. Right, Prince? So take a look at Prince. I think he's uh, had a bath before because he's being very, very good. Look, I can do his feet, no problems. Pick up his other foot, he doesn't pull away. He's not nervous, he's not shaking. So uh, he's a little on the stinky side. Right, right boy? Real good personality, and uh, we're definitely getting them clean. So I'll show you this later, but this is a three-in-one shampoo that we got that was recommended. It's for parasites, 
uh, said something about uh, scabies and stuff like that, and then flea and tick. So uh, he's getting a good, uh, good, good bath, and then uh, we'll introduce him uh, to the house.